Earth's artifacts of Mars. And this whole thing with uh, Colorado and Steve Hall getting out of hand. Folks, you can't threaten this guy. I am furious about it, too. I think he's a dirtbag. But there's another way to go about this. Maybe it hasn't occurred to you, uh, Colorado voters, for some reason. There's a perfectly easy way. I won't say easy. But there's a perfectly viable and legal way to put an end to this crap. Let me explain something to you. There's nothing stopping you from getting together in your counties and, I don't know, hold it at your church. Uh, hold an election, a primary for uh, the delegates. Hold an election for the prime delegates. Demand that your local election board provide you with a place to do this and all the materials and hold the primary. Well, duh! Maybe this never occurred to anybody. Oh, well, it occurred to Artifacts of Mars. Get together, hold the primary, and then if Donald Trump does win it, then you go up to the party bosses and say, okay, Trump gets the delegates, we voted, here's the results. You don't, he doesn't get the delegates, your party gets sued for every penny it has. That's a much better way to do this than threatening this guy. Now, I'd love to see him removed, you can also while you're at it, vote to remove the Republican leadership in that state. Nothing's stopping you from doing that either. <clears throat> this is America for crying out loud. Now, I'm going to, uh, I had technical issues with my, uh, computer before, and uh, assuming I got that out of the way, I'm going to take a look at what Ed Savage said about this, and I'm going to look Take a look at what Limbaugh said about this. I am very disappointed about Rush, and I have not listened to him since. I usually listen to the guy on the way to work, but he pissed me off pretty seriously. Mega Otids to Rush Limbaugh. Okay, so we'll look that up. Hopefully I won't have the same screw-ups that I had. There might be one or two... Uh, times it'll interject things. It's that shockwave flash stuff drives me up the wall and down the other side. Hang on. And here we have Rush. Can't transcript. There's something else about these delicate fights that have taken place over the weekend where Cruz just skunked Trump. It isn't even a contest. Fascinating to watch. And of course, Trump people think games are being played and tricks are being pulled. They are. But that's not happening. You, Rush, are a liar. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. That's right. I called Rush Limbaugh a liar. I don't play favorites here. If he's wrong, he's wrong. I don't care if he is a conservative. This is just somebody who understands the system using it. You know, we could get into a little discussion, if you want, about insider versus outsider, and I got trying to tell people these insiders are not going to just let this stuff go, folks. They're not going to sit idly by and let you take it away from them. That is bullshit. So there you have it. Uh, Mr. Limbaugh. decided to take the side of tyranny by saying that this is perfectly acceptable. Well, Mr. Limbaugh, you're going to lose listeners over this. That's the thing to do. Don't listen to Rush. 
or if you or you can call them up if you one of these people will have time and say low rush mega mega anti dittos maybe if he hears mega mega anti dittos for three hours and when the person tell when he asks them what they are giving you mega mega anti dittos for just say hey you stood up for tyranny with the Colorado affair. Mega Mega Anti Dittos Rush. Anti Dittos, Anti Dittos, or Otids, however you want to put it. So I am seriously pissed off about Rush. Now, Michael Savage, on the other hand, said that. Uh, Cruz should demand the vote, <coughs> and that way he would have the credibility, which he's not going to do. He's a devious, slimy, sleazy. He got thrown off my we'll vote for list. No vote for Ted Cruz, no matter what. It was because of the slimy uh, things that he's done. Well, that's about it. You really don't want to do this, folks. You don't want to sit there and say, well, we're coming after your family. We're coming after you. You've had it. You better put a gun in your mouth. That's wrong. Hold your own. Hold the election regardless of the Republican Party. Demand that your local boards provide you with what you need, the place and all that, the materials demand it. Hold the primary yourselves. And then you take the results to the party and say, if Trump is a winner, then you say, tell them, okay, suckers, here's the results. You use them, the delegates vote up this way, or we as a party are going to sue. All the voters will put a class action lawsuit on your party. You will be sued to within, you will be sued for every penny you have. I think that would get their attention. Do it the right way, though. Hold the primary yourselves. Get together. There's got to be people who organize this. Get together. Hold the primary. Don't threaten Steve House, even though he's a scumbag. Oh, and uh, Mr. House, I'm ending this video now. But Mr. House, I got a message for you. It's not a threat. It's just how I, what I think about you, and it's not going to be pretty. If you don't know what it means, then, Mr. House, uh, ask somebody about Klingons and their uh, traditions. It's just my way of expressing my anger towards you. I'm angry as hell myself, but... This isn't the way. Threatening the guy is not the way to go about this. Hold the election. That's all.